Welcome back. For whatever reason, I have an affection for hammers, brass doodads, and fine filigree. So I came up with a project that incorporates all three. A little brass engraving hammer. <laughs> but before I get started, I just want to say a quick thanks to everyone who shared my videos. Also, if you like this kind of content, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Really helps keep the dream alive. Now I already made a little paper template, so I'm going to trace that out with a sharpie on my chunko brass. Then I'm going to mark some lines to make my initial cuts on the bandsaw. And give it a little slicey slice. And I'm pretty amazed at how easily the bandsaw cuts that thick metal. And after grinding the top square, now we're going to mark our center line. And this is a good time to mention that this brass stock is 3 quarters of an inch thick. And then we're going to want to give the center of the handle hole a good pop with the center punch. Now I'm drilling a half inch hole for the handle and be careful drilling brass. If the drill bit catches in the soft metal it will ruin your day real quick. Back to the bandsaw to cut out the rough profile. Then I use my cheesy little belt sander and my little rotary carver to grind the rest of the way to the lines. Now we can widen out the handle hole. I'm making my hole wider on the top of the hammer so when I drive in my wedge it'll lock the head in place. I've already got my lines marked out for the point so now I'm going to cut and grind those. Now that I got it to this point, I'm going to use a metal file to ease all the edges. And thus begins the tedious job of sanding this thing. Now if you know anything about engraving, go easy on me, I'm a noob. My engraving chisel I made out of a scrap piece of carbon steel from one of my knives. There's something super satisfying about using the tools you made to make more tools. A lot of people use paint, but I like to use gun blue to darken the engravings. In my personal opinion, it gives it a more natural aged look. After applying the gun blue, be sure to wash it thoroughly with soap and water. If there's any residue, it can discolor the rest of the piece. Alrighty, when choosing a piece of wood for a handle, it's important for strength to have the flat grain on the sides and the vertical grain on the front and back.
Whenever I'm making a handle, I like to fit the head before I get too carried away shaping the rest of it. Fitting the head is the hardest part, and if I screw it up, I can start over without wasting too much time. I bet most of my woodworking bros would agree that using hand tools like a block plane is a real joy. After giving the handle the old sand and brand, I cut the slot for the wedge with a hacksaw and press the hammerhead into its final resting place. The wedge I made out of a little piece of hickory and it'll have a nice contrast against the dark walnut. And I'm going to use a drop of tight bond original to keep it from working its way back out. And of course, our favorite wood finish, tongue oil. Man, you can really see that wedge pop. Thank you guys for joining me on my epic adventure. If you like my content and you want to see more, make sure you subscribe. And to watch another one of my videos, click right here. Thank you. Bye.